Hi everybody, I'm Stu Harrison and we're here at Miriam Pianos with another piano review. Today we're looking at and listening to the Hoffman P188 6 foot 3 Grand Piano. The P188 is a dark horse in almost every sense of the word, and it comes from a line of pianos which I've already had a lot of very good things to say about. The professional series of grand pianos under the W. Hoffman brand, designed and built by C. Beckstein in Europe. And for people who shop for pianos based on max value, in other words, the best performance for the best price, there are only two other pianos on the planet that I'd put in the same category of absolutely insane performance for the dollars which means there are about 50 that I wouldn't. So let's get into its pedigree. The P188 is based on the Bechstein Academy B190 piano, which you can also buy from Bechstein's German factory, a scant two-hour drive up the road from the Czech factory that this beauty actually comes from. But there's a critical difference here. Yes, you save on the Czech labor, and you don't get the Bechstein badge, but that Czech factory is actually the old Bohemia plant, which was probably the most highly respected group of piano builders in Eastern Europe in the 1980s and 90s. Now, it's been injected with 50 million euros shot in the arm in the form of new gear, new training, and not shy of a full plant rebuild. It's a little brother to the P162 Hoffman. You can also taste the pride and excitement that exists at that factory being squeezed into every one of these grand pianos. So what about the piano specifically to me, makes this such an extraordinary value. Well, for starters, the tone. It's actually unique. It doesn't sound like every other piano in the range, and it's right in the middle of a Yamaha and a Steinway in terms of bright and dark attack. The instrument projects a significant mid and treble without feeling empty on the bass. It's well balanced, with maybe a slight bias towards the higher end, which makes this ideal for early and mid classical repertoire, jazz players, and probably a decent amount of pop as well. In that regards, parts of the tone remind me a lot of the mid-sized Busendorfer Conservatory series, except this is half the price. It's right in the middle of a Yamaha and Steinway in terms of what you'd expect in terms of bright and dark attack. The instrument projects a significant middle treble without feeling empty on the bass. So it's well balanced with maybe a slight bias towards the higher end, which makes this ideal for early mid-classical rep jazz players and probably a decent amount of pop as well in that regard. Parts of the tone remind me a lot actually of a mid-sized Busendorfer Conservatory series. Except this is half the price. That tone is coming from a unique bridge design that actually compresses the energy slightly and a true Austrian white spruce soundboard with tight grain and Bechstein's trademark scissor joint soundboard planking which actually increases the surface area between the planks. Second, the action deserves some serious mention. While the design isn't anything special on paper, the level of factory prep that they're putting out is impressive. You get a piano which is effortless to play, and for people accustomed to slightly lighter touches, you will love playing this instrument. For people used to digging in on something a little meatier, like a Shigeru Kawai or a Steinway, this is going to take a bit of adjustment, but nothing dramatic. Maybe just, I don't know, lay off the spinach for a couple of weeks. Third, the finish and the cabinet quality are top notch. Once you stare at pianos all day long like I do, you start to realize that a $20,000 shiny black piano does not have the same finish quality that a $100,000 piano has. Now the professional Hoffman Grands have plate finishes which are immaculately sprayed, buffed, and finished off. So if you're a player who doesn't mind getting a little off the beaten path in terms of the piano you buy, the P188 is going to deliver a massive wallop in the price range normally dominated by Yamaha CX and S series or the Kawai SK series. 
and actually delivers an intensely satisfying sound that gets a lot closer to the type of bell-like clarity you're normally going to get out of top-level European pianos for two or three times its price. It's great for schools, it's great for churches, smaller project studios, or home enthusiasts, high-level students as well. I really, really love this piano. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes of your time to learn a bit more about it. Again, I'm Stu Harrison, and we're here at Miriam Pianos.